folks today is saturday january the 29th and since uh pretty much our freezing nights are past we're going to go ahead and get started on our potatoes this year we're going to do, to do golden yukons and uh, red potatoes so we're going to do them in 30 gallon trash cans this time instead of the 50 gallon totes so we'll see where our success will be Robert's going to drill holes in the bottom of the trash can and on the side. We're going to line it with newspaper like you saw us do last year in our potato planting. And we want to fill it with soil and composted chicken manure. See, yeah, those are our holes. Should be plenty for uh, drainage. What size uh, holes are these? These are half inch. Okay, half inch. This is the um, pine soil that we use, Showscape. It already has compost in it. We mix it in the composted chicken manure in our salt. We mix it in really well. Put <music> in a little bit of the magnesium sulfate or the epsilon. It's the same thing. Remember the main three components you need when you're gardening is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Bone meal is a good uh, source of uh, phosphorus, and you need that for your root development and fruit. And by using your potatoes, you would need this for your roots. Potatoes don't need as much nitrogen. They'll get enough from the compost, compost and chicken manure, but I wouldn't uh, water them, for example, with fishing molds. You know, it was mostly nitrogen. I mean, it doesn't need all of that. The plants that you would usually use a lot of nitrogen for, with any, especially like your greens. All right, that's mixed in really well. We can give it a little shot of water. And then go ahead and dust our potatoes with sulfur. And the sulfur, again, as you may remember from my previous video, helps with uh, keep down funk. And you can put a little bit of lime in here if you want to. Potatoes do need potassium uh, to grow, but you wouldn't want to use uh, firewood ash because it can cause, cause what's called uh, scab disease. So keep your wood ashes away from the potatoes because you can use it everywhere else in the garden. And when you're putting this stuff into your garden, be sure to just read the containers and read the measurements. I'm kind of used, I'm used to playing and stuff, so I just eyeball stuff. But I would suggest that you read the size of the bag to know what amount that you need to add in for your square feet. We're getting ready to dust our uh, potatoes with uh, sulfur. These are the golden. So we just put them into a paper bag, throw a little sulfur in it, and shake it up like you would popcorn. <laughs> okay, and we probably do one more hand like that. Be sure to wear a mask when you're handling sulfur. You do not want to inhale that. When you to plant your potatoes, you plant them with the eyes up. Just lay it straight down on top. There you go. 
All right, so we've got all of our uh, potatoes in, and I'm going to add about two or three inches of soil on the top, water it in, and that'll be it. We'll wait, and hopefully they'll start coming up in probably a week and a half, maybe 10 days, we'll start seeing a few shoots. As long as it doesn't, the temperature doesn't drop too badly. And from uh, watching the weather, a lot of our cold, cold nights are behind us, so stay tuned. Once the, once the potatoes start growing, as it come above the soil, we'll just keep adding soil until it grows it to the top and the plants die and you can dig them up. Thanks for watching from Clark's Cookery.